Hey, it's Dr. Gonzo and you're watching In A Nutshell. So today I'm going to try to describe to you what normal coronary anatomy looks like. Now, to put you in perspective of what it is, I drew the heart but with only the left side in it. And so this is the left ventricle, which is responsible of pushing oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the rest of the body. It has to go through the aortic valve and into the aorta, which basically disseminates it to the rest of the body so that your end organs can get oxygen. Now notice that I have drawn the side of the aorta with this little branch coming off of it. That's one of the coronaries that we see and have in the heart that's called the left main trunk or the left main coronary artery. And so you can imagine now that when the blood is ejected from the left ventricle, it gets pushed down the left main coronary artery, which is responsible of providing blood to the heart. Blood also goes this way, keep in mind. So now let's actually magnify this particular image so that you can understand what the coronary artery tree looks like. So blood goes down the left main trunk into this big thing that I drew here that's the left coronary artery that has two branches. The anterior descending or the left anterior descending and the circumflex. Each and one of those arteries has branches. That's the reason we call it the coronary artery tree. Now let's suppose that you have a blockage in one of these arteries. Well, it's not only one blockage. Typically what we see is multiple blockages in different locations of the arterial tree. So let's suppose that you have a blockage here, and a blockage here, and a blockage here, and a blockage here. You got four blockages in those arteries. Well, that explains the reason why when we have to do bypass surgery, we don't go bypassing each individual blockage. What we really do is try to bypass the end artery because these arteries then communicate to these small vessels called capillaries, which are responsible of feeding oxygen to the heart. So when we do bypass surgery, we really do bypass away from the blockages and bypass each affected coronary artery, not the blockage, individually to try to get blood to the distal circulation. So that is normal coronary anatomy as well as coronary artery disease and bypass surgery in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.